Hi, I'm Gary Hall Sr. with the Race Club, and here we are in beautiful Isla Morata with one of the greatest swimming coaches in the world and one of the greatest swimmers in the world from Canada, Randy Bennett, the head coach of the Canadian swim team for London next year, and Ryan Cochran, arguably one of the greatest distance swimmers of all time. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome you guys to the Keys. Nice to have you down. It's uh, great to be in paradise. Ryan, we still got to work on your tan a little bit. <laughs> this is pretty good for me. Your coach is looking, <laughs> looking like a native, I'll tell you. Randy's got a nice tan going. But Randy, let me start with you. Um, we've seen some improvements in the Canadian performances since 04, which was you know, not a very good showing, and it got better in 08. But hopefully things are going to get better for you in 2012 in London. Give us a little bit of a state of the union of Canadian swimming as you're going into London now, preparing for the games. I, I think, like you say, we, we are getting better. I think we probably started getting better in 2007 with Brent winning the gold medal in the World Championships and a couple of relay medals. And Brian followed that up in Beijing in 2007. He did quite a good job. But the, the team has gotten better all the way along. I think in 2009, we had a good show in the World Championships in anime, breaking the world record in the 200 breaststroke and silver medal. And just getting more performances across the board, more athletes, and, and a higher level of confidence. And, and uh, the coaching staff has made a concentrated effort of putting expectation on the athletes, and they've started delivering. And I think they, they feel better with higher expectations. We have a stated goal of three medals next year at the Olympics, and, and we feel pretty confident we can achieve that and just continue working forward. The, the positives that we have is there's a number of young athletes coming up, and it's, it's, it's exciting to have, to have not just the veterans, but young athletes. And, I think not only next year, but we're built towards 2016 and 2020. No pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure. Uh, well, I mean, I've raised Sun Yang for, you know, four or five years now, and um, I think, you know, he swims his races very differently than I do, and I know that I always have to be out in the lead to start off a race, and that's why I like to, you know, be in the race. And, I think in Beijing it was a different story because uh, I tried to get the lead and it was really exciting and then didn't, wasn't really prepared for the pain that was the last 500 meters and so, you know, now going through it and it's not my first time and I know, you know, what to expect from these races and uh, I think just keeping my head against racing these guys who, you know, have that back end speed and knowing that, you know, I need to race, you know, what we plan on doing and, you know, I think that'll, that confidence will really carry us forward this year. Well, Randy says your training is going better than ever. This is probably the best training year you've ever had. Any thoughts about your training at this point, you know, six, seven months out, and how you feel things are going from that perspective? Well, I mean, last year I would say was the best training year we've ever had. Um, our entire group together, it was just such a great year. And then, so, you know, coming off that, we knew, you know, Olympic year needs to be even that much better. And uh, we've done more meters than we ever have. And, you know, I think my body... It's it's hard to deal with when you're not used to you know when you add a couple thousand meters a day, <laughs> and uh, so I think just getting used to that and being able to you know keep my stroke the entire way has been really important. And I mean I'm not the fastest trainer and I know that, but I think I take pride in you know how well my technique can be you know throughout a 16 kilometer day, and so uh, we've been really working on that. Ryan, last question for you: 400 is a very different race than a 1500. Can you prepare? equally well for both those races or do you feel like you have to focus on more than 1500 to be at your very best and sacrifice a little bit for the plan? I think the the miles become a sprint in my opinion like I think uh, it used to used to be more of a pace event and now it seems to be so much more of a, a sprint race the 50 swimmers might disagree with it but I think uh, the, the I know my son would <laughs> yeah the uh, I think the training is the same um, I mean I want my speed to be up I want to be a better sprinter and I think the, the 400 you know especially at the Olympics not having the 800 makes a big difference I think these last world championships I was pretty tired by the time I got to the last day and so you know in the back of my mind I knew you know going into the Olympic year I won't have that race in the middle the week and uh, so you can kind of prepare for the 400 and have you know a, a long week to prepare for your next event. Okay. Well, it's great to have you in the Keys. Thank you for coming down and joining us. I hope you'll be back. Good luck in Atlanta. We'll be Thank watching you. for your trials.